Samsara. Life is unfair, isn't it? I know you're angry and that you can't let go of the torment they put you through. Karma? I'm not karma. Karma's not what you think it means anyways. I can't fix your problems for you. Karma is a very popular concept for everyone. People see it as the active agent behind the golden rule, which is do unto others as you would have done unto you. The consequences of bad action coming back to punish someone in the same, li same lifetime. It's appealing because life is unfair. This idea of karma is popular with the powerless in the face of injustices. But in reality, people hurt, hurt others without punishment all the time. Actually, karma has a lot to do with reincarnation. In its most extreme form, nonviolence means to allow oneself to die before harming another. The justification of this is that we will be released from the cycle of rebirth. To be on earth is a sort of punishment and purification system starting at the bottom with microorganisms to plant life, then animal life, until finally becoming human. Humans are reincarnated about eight or so times, however long it takes to reach that pure state. This feels familiar, doesn't it? We've had this conversation before in the in a past life. People call it deja vu. Your next life might even be better. You could become a human like me and own a beloved dog or cat or hamster or even a pet fish. Animals don't live for very long, but that's why I, I have had so many pets, one after another. Maybe that is why I love animals so much. They may actually be my closest friends and family from past lives. Anyways, you can't stay on this boat, little buddy. Don't look at me with those soulful black eyes. In the water you go. Maybe in your next life, you will be the killer whale trying to eat the sea lions and not the sea lion the killer whales are currently trying to eat.